We are still in the 70s, although areas northwest of us seeing the showers in the 60s now, but we'll drop into the 60s this evening as the rain starts to pick up, especially as we head towards sunset and beyond. Rain becoming more likely for the Dayton area and spreading across the Miami Valley. Overnight, the rain could be heavy at times, and we're expecting much cooler conditions later tonight and tomorrow morning with the cold front coming by only in the upper 40s. Uh, to low 50s through the day on uh, Friday. Much cooler tonight with that heavy rain in our weather headlines. Showers still linger on Friday, breezy and cool, and more rain on Saturday. But the good news is just in time for Easter, we'll be drying out on Sunday. Low temperatures tonight expected to hit the upper 40s here. Look at the 30s on the map in northwest Indiana and up towards Chicago, but 60s southeast of us. And then tomorrow afternoon, upper 40s to around 50 from the Dayton area northward. Some low to mid 50s south of Dayton and still expecting some highs in the 70s today where temperatures have been in the 80s, even close to 90 degrees today down toward Charleston, West Virginia. Seeing those showers up in the northern Miami Valley tonight, northwest uh, sections of Miami County around Bradford over to Covington. Uh, seeing some of that rain that's heading toward Piqua. More rain developing in eastern Indiana and also down through southern Indiana. This is all spreading east and northeast. So uh, we will see that rain start to pick up around the area as we go through through tonight with heavy rain coming up across western Tennessee, western Kentucky, and that'll really start to impact the area late this evening and in the overnight hours. We'll watch those rainfall totals go up by 5 a.m., up to about 7 tenths of an inch. Again, this is just kind of an estimate, gives us an idea of the target area where we're going to see the heaviest rain, and we'll be looking at uh, anywhere about an inch, inch and a half, and then more rain going into Friday night and Saturday, and by the time we get to the weekend, start of the weekend, we could be looking at one to two inches of rain. So some places maybe even a little bit more than that. Currently in Dayton, 75, a southwest wind at 16, relative humidity 46%. Our weather checkers in the 70s tonight, upper 70s to the east of us where the sun's been out. Jim Robbins, 78, Beaver Creek, 78, and Kettering. A little cooler off to the northwest, though. Uh, Jason Thompson there at 75. Future track forecast showing that rain and getting heavy at times where you see the orange and the yellows. That's some of the heavier precipitation that will be moving through. Lighter showers tomorrow, but they'll still be around. And then here comes that next surge of rain moving in Friday night and into Saturday morning. Once again, some of that rain could pick up in intensity, and that'll be with us at least into uh, Saturday evening and Saturday night. But you can see that clearing line to the west. That'll move back in just in time for Sunday. Tonight, some rain around the area. We'll be looking at the possibility of some thunder this evening, maybe even a little past midnight. The rain could get heavy at times, low tonight, 48 degrees. Tomorrow, breezy, cool showers and only about 50 with a north wind at 10 to 20. Not much movement in temperatures tomorrow with those on and off showers, upper 40s to about 50 through the day. On Saturday, we wake up to 40, 48 the high. Look for some rain and some windy conditions again. 40 Sunday morning, but up to 67 with partly sunny skies. Back to the low 70s Monday, another chance of showers Tuesday, and then upper 60s and low 70s for Wednesday and Thursday. But at least the timing's good. Just in time for Easter, we dry out again. I just see the